a rugged smartwatch with military-grade materials and bunch of smart functions. Does Amazfit T-Rex 2 live up to the expectations? Only one way to find out. Let's inspect. Hey everybody! Really good to meet you, I'm Michael, and what we do on the channel is to inspect fresh and cool tech, and uh, today we're going to inspect everything important about the latest coming from Amazfit, a company which has become hugely popular because of their pace, and that's the Stratos series a few years ago. I think this still continues to be my most watched video ever, with close to 2 million views. But anyhow, the T-Rex to it's the second major generation of the series. Actually, prior to that, they used to have the T-Rex One and then the T-Rex Pro. Uh, that's a T-Rex Pro, by the way. Still looks pretty good. And it has become hugely popular because it looks a little bit like the Casio G-Shock series, but has a lot of smart features. And has been the first Amazfit device with really precise GPS tracking, unlike the other Amazfit watches which weren't that good about GPS positioning. So, in today's episode we're going to pay attention to everything important. We're going to thoroughly check the hardware, we're going to see about the fitness and health tracking features, do some sports and figure out whether it can track well all the workouts that you do, and generally to find out whether that's the right fit for you. The launch price adds more weight on the budget that you're going to spend on the T-Rex 2. The good news is that Amazfit are likely going to lower the price at some point or run some discount campaigns. But even like that, T-Rex 2 is no more expensive than the likes of GTR 3, the Huawei Watch GT3 series and most other good smartwatches from 2022. It also undercuts the price for most true smartwatches running Wear OS, and of course has better pricing as compared to the mentioned already Casio G-Shock models. The unboxing has been fun, the usual great looking box provided by Amazfit, they continue to be among my favorites when it comes to good presentation of smartwatches, but we are all here because of what is inside, so top priority is to get to know the functions of the T-Rex 2. Now, here is the watch, among the few color options I've opted for the dark grey edition. The other colors are quite interesting as well, so make sure to check them out. You're going to find some warranty terms, a user guide, as well as the charging cable. One of the nice things about Amazfit is that their charges are compatible across their whole current portfolio. So even if you take the charger from Amazfit GTS 3, it can charge the T-Rex 2 without any problems. The construction of the watch feels very special. In order to keep it lightweight and not too expensive, Amazfit go for a plastic case. I really would love to see a Metal Pro Edition at some point though. There are four physical buttons, something to appreciate these days. The stack with health tracking sensors is on the back side, and that's in contact with your wrist. As for specifications, we count on 1 39 inch AMOLED display covered by tempered glass. 500 mAh battery for up to 25 days per charge with regular usage, the new generation of BioTracker 3.0, a dual band and 5 satellite positioning option, 10 ADM water resistance together with passing military grade standards, running Zep OS with all the new functions like the ability to install extra apps, and all that weighs 66 and a half grams. I think we can already conclude that Amazfit are not simply uh, upgrading the T-Rex series there. They're actually going in direction a uh, very tough enduro-grade smartwatch that people can use in very tough environments. For example, last year I, I did the very same test. You know, I've put the T-Rex Pro inside the freezer overnight to find out whether it's going to survive because the advertisement was claiming that it can be fine and it was fine. The best part is that after this test I was very careful inspecting the battery and already a year after that the battery is still running totally fine. And we can have the very same claims about the T-Rex 2. And speaking of battery, I think this is its greatest strength, because not only it can survive overnight inside the freezer, it can work up to 9 days in super cold conditions, meaning that we finally have a good smartwatch which is ready to go for mounting expeditions. And I think this perfect battery endurance is my favorite feature so far and probably the reason I'm still not in a hurry to switch to another smartwatch just yet. Let us keep on exploring the watch and get a sense of its performance in real life. 
there is not too much to explain about the functions of the buttons, because you can read right next to them by yourself. There is no option to reconfigure these buttons, though. I'm used to open the app list using the top button and start to work out with the lower one, and here they are reversed. The touch operation is also pretty straightforward. Swipe down for quick toggles, swipe up to see the main cards, swipe right to read the notifications, and swipe left for access to the apps. This approach also happens to be different to the usual way of navigation, especially compared to Wear OS. But after a week or two, you're gonna get used to it and it all happens naturally. So no remarks from my end about the user interface. Actually, I can compliment Amazfit's idea to include so many customizations about the cards. You can very quickly get to the information that you're actually looking for. The most important fact about it is that these cards and functions can be accessed using the buttons only. Which, on the beach, or during the summer with sweaty hands, or during the winter with hand gloves, could come particularly handy. The app list looks very familiar if you've ever used an Amazfit device before. The first half of the apps are health tracking related, to check your pulse, blood oxygen saturation, info about sleep cycles, and so on. I'm showcasing the new implementation called One Tap Measuring. Besides the kind of bizarre animation which somehow reminded me of the X-Files, it does a great job and within just 45 seconds, by tapping only once, you're going to have your pulse, SpO2 values and breathing times per minute. There are a bunch of productivity tools as well. Zep already has the integration with calendar apps, so you can now get reminders via the watch. This is one of these features that have driven a lot of people in direction Wear OS or Apple Watches before. Barometer, compass, alarm, stopwatch, countdown timer, world clock, to-do list, even a cycle tracking app for menstrual cycles. And the good news is that this watch is becoming more and more multitasking. If something is running on the background, you're going to see this little bubble at the top. As for the apps, you're going to hardly think of something that is really missing in terms of features. Also, just notice how quickly each and every app launches and notice the overall UI smoothness. This is flagship grade. There already are a few apps that can be installed additionally, like such one for getting notifications from Google Maps. But, to my surprise, T-Rex 2 can now save you like $80, because it can be the perfect remote for a GoPro Hero 10. For my lifestyle and kind of work I do, this has been like the best news ever. There also are some apps to send commands to your Android smartphone, in case you want to get some geeky stuff. In my opinion, from all the new software tweaks, there is one thing that stands out, and this is the notification management. So not only you can read notifications and receive notification from every single app that resides on your smartphone, but you can also respond. No, there is no software keyboard, but you do have pretty fine responses that you can customize according to your most frequently used phrases, and then you can easily push a response to whoever is texting you. That's super convenient. The other great improvement is that now, for most of the messages, it supports reading a lot more characters. So finally, you can scroll through this chain of emails and read through the whole email message. In terms of sensor accuracy, HR tracking is excellent. So is the SpO2 tracking. Good words about measuring the sleep cycles, barometer shows accurate data, GPS… Well, from being the company always trying to catch up with GPS accuracy, Amazfit are now having one of the best setups, confirmed not just by me, but also a few other folks that helped me during the testing phase. We're using here the smartphone app in order to analyze all the data, it's called Zep, formerly named Amazfit. It used to be somewhat buggy some months ago, now there's a new interface, all the functions are clear, well explained, nicely grouped, configuration features are many, and the data exports you can get are also plenty. Amazfit promised that they're going to enable importing of tracks, routes and waypoints via one of the next firmware updates, and I'm eagerly waiting to test this feature, because that's gonna be a game changer for bikers like me. Looks like, during these three weeks of using it, T-Rex 2 has exceeded my expectations. But is there any room for improvements? Yeah, I can think of a few more things. 
There are no speaker and microphone, no option to connect an external HR tracker, no smart assistant, no access to internal storage for uploading files such as pictures or music, and maybe the latter one is not in the scope of the customer base for this model anyway. Conclusion time! If you're an athlete or a person who does a lot of sports, I think you should seriously consider the new generation of T-Rex, the T-Rex 2, uh, because it finally seems to be on its way to disrupt Garmin's hegemony in the world of sports smartwatches. If you have to choose between another rugged smartwatch like the Casio G-Shock series <laughs> and obviously T-Rex 2, I would always vote in favor of the smart features. And unlike GTS 3 and GTR 3 by Amazfit, which were a little bit disappointing because of certain features that have been removed, I think this is the total blockbuster from Amazfit for 2022. Of course, if you have other opinions to share, be invited. The comment section is down below the video. I'll be glad to carry on the conversation. As usual, link to the product. A bit more information about how you can support the channel is placed somewhere in the video description. And thank you so much for watching this episode on my channel. Thanks for your overwhelming support. Wishes for a fantastic day. Stay fit and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!